hi guys i'm rachel and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing we're going to give the halloween looks a little break and jump into something a little more soft and girly and floody real um appropriate and perfect for fall and for maybe someone who just wants a nice effortless look to go somewhere so i want to do this in a chit chat i want to talk a little bit today some of my makeup off camera just to save time and i use i want to mention this this foundation the born this way foundation and the concealer um it's newer to my collection but it's not new and this foundation you guys i think it's perfect for the winter and the fall months since that our skin does get a bit drier in the fall months um this is like buildable full coverage and it is um it gives you this nice flawless look but it's not drying and i love that about it and it's very light on the on the skin like you, you hardly even know you're wearing it as well as um the concealer i have mine in the shade butter pecan and my concealer in honey um i just love it i've been using it all week and i really love it it's my go-to i'm gonna do a little bit of contouring today and i'll be using this new palette from that i bought from ruby kisses it's a cream contour um today and um before i go any further i want to thank everyone for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me so far it is just so nice um that i feel like i'm touching the world one face at a time and i'm so happy that's that's what i want to do so thank you so much for all the love and support but what i need you guys to do however is to first of all most of you know me most of you my subscribers personally knows me so what you guys do is you would dm me or you would text me or something to let me know your comments on whatever it is that whatever video that I had posted so what I need you to do is to love me and support me just a little bit more and I mean you could text me or you could DM me or whatever the case might be still but it would be nice to leave it in the comments as well so that others can see your comment I mean it really helps and I really appreciate it if you could leave the comments in the comment section you know what i mean yeah um so thank you so much i'm i'm just i'm very very happy a lot of you guys told me that you got stuff i recommended and it's it's just amazing you know i mean i don't have much subscribers as yet but i know i would get there but just hearing these couple um people coming to me and said oh i bought this setting lotion or the setting spray sorry or i bought this foundation and coming to me for advice is like okay it gives me the motivation and the encouragement to continue doing this and i'm just very happy that i can do this I mean, and it's, it's surprising that so much people love makeup and still so much people out there don't really know much about makeup, you know, but it's never too late to educate yourself. And that is what I'm here for, to educate and motivate. <laughs> so I used um, a Ruby Kisses um, thing. I bought this in the beauty supply store. It, it's okay. It's not the best. It's okay. But it got the job done. It gave me a nice contour and today i use i'm using cream and powder for my contour. so i'm um, something i want to touch on also is that um i had this one customer that just you know made me want to actually talk about this a little bit more in depth i want to tell you that your makeup would only look as good as what's underneath is that i mean some people go for the makeup and forget the skin altogether and that cannot work it will not work you have to focus on your skin you have to have a very good skincare regimen in place um so that your makeup will lay over top nicely and smooth and you would get the results that you're looking for you cannot not take care of your skin and expect your makeup to look good i know some people want like a quick fix you want your makeup to just make everything okay but you have to take care of your skin you're supposed to be taking care of your skin you're supposed to be cleansing moisturizing toning all that removing your makeup properly never go to bed with makeup it ages you like you have to do that and most of all you're supposed to drink a lot of water like i am a water person 95 percent of the time i am drinking water i mean i'm not big on alcohol i do drink alcohol to socialize and i do not drink juice and i don't like sodas you know what i mean so i mean i have it easier because i'm already built that way but your skin will only be a reflection of what it is you're feeding your body also like you have to take care of 
all that like they all now I'm reaching for my black radiance contour palette and i love this palette it's from the drugstore as you can see it's very loved i've hit pan on all those colors and i'm grabbing the contour shade and just set the cream that i place underneath whenever you use cream you have to use a powder to set it so that it will last on your face except you have dry skin you know what i mean you must set it with a powder so as i was saying you have to take care of your skin the other thing for flawless makeup to achieve flawless makeup is your tools you could have a bomb ass foundation but you don't have the right tools and it just won't be your makeup just won't be good it just will not apply well so you have to invest in some good tools like brushes and sponges and stuff like that and off my head i can recommend morphe brushes for you they're very good and inexpensive you have uh, bh cosmetics have brushes colourpop nyx these are all very affordable brands that you can actually get a nice brush set for like 40 dollars they're on sale bh cosmetics has sale all the time so invest in some good makeup tools so that you can get the result that you want from your makeup First of all, your diet comes first. Your diet comes first. You have to know, you have to eat well, drink lots of water, stuff like that. Then you have to take care of your skin, have a good skincare regimen in place. You can even go to like Sephora and places like that. that it will, there, there are people there who specialize in skin who can advise you on your skin if you do not know what skin you have. You understand what I'm saying? And skincare, and I know I'm going a lot on skincare right now, but I feel like it's very important. Skincare um, is something that takes a while to work. It doesn't just m work magically it takes at least a month or so for you to see some results or the other so you have to give it time to work you know what i mean so we have your diet your skincare your tools and of course your makeup you know what i mean so after you have these in place you could be using crap makeup but <laughs> have good tools and you apply it lovely it looks well so be sure to always in like make the extra effort to invest in those things first before you actually just dive into makeup itself you know what? okay so now i basically have the base that i want i am going to use no i hate white packaging on uh, makeup brands packaging that are white i just i hate it look at this i bought this palette last fall and i've used it maybe three times but because it's with the rest of my palette it looks like this like it's been to world war three but I'm going to be using this Colourpop eyeshadow palette in um, the shade High Maintenance. I don't even know if it's still available. I guess it is. I should have checked. But the colors look like this. And they are very fall friendly. I love them. So I'm actually going to use this palette to do the look today. I'm going to use all the colors. And just from this palette, you can actually create, at, off the top of my head, I can see you can create at least like four to five looks from just these four colors. You know what I'm saying? So don't let these things scare you. So I'm using some of this P. Lewis eyeshadow base and I'm applying it on my lids just so the colors can pop more and that they last well. I usually just use concealer as my base and set it with my powder. This works fine as well but I have the base so I'm like why not use it. And I'm starting off with the lighter color of the two. And I'm just focusing this on one side of my brush. I'm using my MAC 217 brush. A dupe to this is the Morphe M433, I think. This brush is $25. The Morphe one is 6 bucks. I just have it, so you know, I'm using it. So I'm applying it on one side of my brush. Make sure you always tap in the excess off. Because you do not want to ruin your base if you do your base first. And I'm applying this on the outer corner of my eyes and into my crease. And the reason why I'm applying it on one side of my brush is because I just want more control of my crease area and the product. And I'm sort of flicking it out because I want it to be a little, I feel like looks that are more like this um, makes my face look nicer. It, it, it complements my eye shape and everything better. I prefer it to be more like this than rounded. And the other thing I want to touch on is that my eye shape doesn't have a very defined crease. But me doing makeup so long, I know where my crease Even if your eye shape is one that doesn't have a very defined crease, um, you can create your crease. The more you do your shadows, the more you get better at it, the more you know what it is you like to see, the more you know how to place your shadows and, and stuff like that. And I will do an in-depth, I know I'm always saying this, but I'm, you know, I just started YouTube, you know, I have a list of shit that I got to get through. I will be doing an in-depth um, video of brushes and stuff like that, things that, brush essentials, things that you would need um, to have your makeup looking. 
Bomb AF. And I'm bringing it all the way to my you know, corners right here. I want it to be very effortless. And I'm a person who loves effortless looks. Like, I am not crazy about cut creases. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love a good cut crease ever so often. But I'm just one who just loves to just do something really effortless. I feel like it looks way, way more classy and just effortless. I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. I'm getting the shadow on one side of the brush. Tapping it off. And then I'm going to be dragging it into my crease very gentle strokes very light you don't want to be going in too harsh because you don't want to remove the work you've done underneath either so light hands people light hands anyway i used this color the darker of the two and i used my same brush and let me just do a slight demonstration of what i did and I tapped it off and I brought it lower than the first color that I was using and brought it into right underneath my crease and dragged it up so that I have this right now. Now I'm just going to take an NYX fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend this so that everything is blended. And now we have no harsh lines and everything is seamless. So. I was saying that I'm, I was thinking about doing um, like a one palette uh, eyeshadow series where I can show you um, looks that you can get from one palette, be dramatic or simple or everyday. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that. And always comment what you want to see me do. I mean, I'm just going off a list that I did. Before, before years ago. <laughs> so it would be nice if you can comment what you want to see so I can actually do it even if it's one request so at least I know what someone wants to see and leaving your comments can allow someone else to see it and maybe comment or whatever the case might be so it really does help and like I said I really do appreciate it so now I'm using this shimmer shade on a fluffy brush I am rubbing my brush in the product and I'm now going to use a setting spray and damp the brush and apply this almost very messily because I want to bring it all the way up to my crease. You see this? Ooh, I love me some effortless looks. And I'm bringing it all in the inner corner of my eyes like this. Like I want it to be like this. And I'm using this brush because it helps blend and it doesn't make anything too defined and concentrated. And make sure you're always tapping your colors and then maybe slightly pulling. You do not want to go in and always pulling and dragging. You want to pat to get the best payoff. Your shadows stay in place and your work underneath stays in place. So always pat, especially with glitters and shimmers to prevent fallouts and stuff like that. So now that I have this, I'm going back in with the darker color. I suck at showing shit. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply a little bit more. To mesh these two colors together so you don't see where one begins and where one ended. Now I'm taking a smaller shadow brush and I'm going into the gold because I'm gonna apply this in the inner corners. This gold is so beautiful guys. I've used this gold a lot to highlight the inner corners and my brow bone even though I haven't used the palette too much. This is like oh my god it's so pretty. I'm just gonna take the excess. So I know I've mentioned a couple of videos that I am a nail technician and I am a working makeup artist as well. I do have clients and I do work with appointments and I will leave everything in the description box down below of how you can book me and stuff like that. And I do one-on-one -on -one consults um, for people who um, probably just want a little more help with getting to know about makeup and your skin. I just use my e.l.f. blush cord. The colors are very fall appropriate i usually leave all my social medias and stuff in the bottom bar so check that out i do have a page for makeup and a page for nails so you can check that out and book me help spread the word i'm applying the darker shade and i'm using a flat definer brush i love this brush i've had this brush for years 
it was one of my first brushes that I bought from a set from Costa Sense. I think they still carry that set. It is amazing. I have so much of the brushes still, and this is just a great. Other brands make them as well. Now I am gonna use my. <laughs> Yo, if something doesn't fall, <laughs> I'm gonna use my Morphe gel liner in jet with a flat brush. And I'm just gonna apply this in my waterline. You could use an eye pencil for this. It's just that this is what I had near. So before I go in with any other makeup, I'm gonna set my face as usual. I'm going to draw myself in second step. <laughs> See my face, and I used a uh, one night stand models own. I get it from Alta. While it dries, I'm just gonna do my lips, and I'm using my MAC Plum Lip Planet. Then I'm gonna go in my ColourPop liquid lipstick in Stingray. This was a collabor collaboration <laughs> with um, it's my Rewe here on YouTube. This off with my LA Girl lip. Okay. Now these names, these brands are getting ridiculous with the names, okay? It's a glazed, super intense color, extra glossy finish lip paint from LA Girl, <laughs> okay? Oh my God. They're sickening with the names. They're, oh, Jesus Christ. And I'm going in with the shade of blushing. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to the center of my lips. So I just went to my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in Rose Gold, Molten Rose Gold and I'm applying that to the tops of my cheek, my chin, my nose, um, over my brows, my cupid's bow. It just complements the look really well. And I applied some lashes from Kiss. I would list everything in the description box so be sure to check that out as always. That's a completed look. I hope you you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed sitting down and talking with you. You probably get to know me just a tad bit to get to know a little bit more about makeup also. So um, like I say, all the, the products that I use will always be in the description box. My link to my social media. I am a nail technician. I am a makeup artist. I do makeup consultations. You can book me. You can ask me anything you want in the description. I would answer to the best of my ability also. And like I say, makeup is always about trial and error. I will never stop saying that. I'm here to encourage, to help, to motivate, to educate. Touching the world one face at a time. What you guys think about that? Touching the world one face at a time. Let me know what you guys think about that. That can be my, my tagline. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, this so I hope you guys learned something like I said and uh, thank you so much for everything for the love and the support um, Always always hit the bell and when you subscribe and get others to subscribe as well I think I'm fun. I think I'm interesting. I don't need to toot my horn, but toot, toot. <laughs> So thank you so so much and um, see you again soon